So in this question, we are given a sketch of a triangle, OPQ. We are given um, a couple of ratios to do with uh, points and lengths that are not shown on the diagram, so we're going to have to draw those on. Uh, we're given a couple of vectors, um, and then we are asked to, or given instructions really, to finding one uh, vector uh, first, uh, and then letting another vector equal this other vector here multiplied by a constant, which is called lambda. We want to find a ratio. So there's quite a lot of stuff going on uh, to unpack. To start off with a question like this, you need to have a complete diagram. We don't have that, so let's, let's start to draw. It says that the point R is such that OP to PR is 1 to 2. So if that was a straight line from OP, we would extend our line upwards until we eventually got to a point R. So OP is now extended onto to point R, but the ratio of this is 1 to 2. So that's quite a difficult thing to, to show. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this line in half here and then show that this is the same length as this is the same length as this. Okay, that's my ratio. Um, I also know that there's a point M such that P to M and M to Q is a ratio of 2 to 1. So M is on the line P to Q. Um, ratio of 2 to 1. So I'm going to put my M point about here. Um, actually, let's keep consistency. Let's do that in blue. I'm going to cut my line here. And the ratio here is 2 to 1. So I'm going to cut my line um, here as well such that this distance is the same as this distance is the same as this distance. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. We've extended OP to go to OR. So we have OP, PR with a ratio of 1 to 2. This part is the same as this part is the same as this part in terms of length. And we've split um, R, oops, we've split R, um, sorry, PQ into the ratio of 2 to 1, where we have this point M. Um, now, it also tells us that the straight line from R through M cuts OQ down here at point N. So we go R, M, and we cut here at point N. So there's a lot of lines going on. Let's do it this one in green. So this line comes all the way down here, and it cuts at N. Now, it says O to P is equal to A. OP is vector A. So let's, let's draw that one on um, on here, so this vector going this way is A. And if that's A, we know that this one is also A, and this one is also A, because it's a straight line, it's an extended line, and those distances are the same length, so therefore, same direction, same length, same vector. We know that O to Q is B, so the vector all the way along the bottom here is vector B. Okay, that's the easy bit. Okay, and it says first by finding vector R to M. So R to M goes from here to here. So tracing that, we're going to go, okay, what is this? This is two lots of minus A. So that's quite easy to write down. So R to M is two lots of minus A. And then when I get to this bit here, I want to go two-thirds the way along here, so it's two-thirds of PQ. So plus two-thirds P to Q. I'll just recap. Minus 2A plus two-thirds of PQ. So what is PQ? I'm going to need to find that out. Well, PQ goes from P to O to Q, so that's nice. That's minus A plus B. That's actually not too bad, minus A plus vector B. So putting those together, I have R to M is equal to minus 2A plus 2 thirds of minus vector A plus vector B. And when I work that through, I've got minus 2A plus, sorry, minus minus two-thirds of vector A plus two-thirds of vector B. And then when you tidy that up, 
you end up with minus 8 thirds vector A plus 2 thirds vector B. So, so far I've done this little bit here, working out my vector Rm, and that's my solution here, and it's in terms of A, vector A, and vector B. So, here we've worked out the vector that takes us from R to M. Okay, and what we're trying to work out um, is this expression here, uh, O to N, in a ratio of N to Q. So, we need to work out how to get from here to here. Now, we know it is some fraction of vector B. But the only roots we have going here, we can go up to R and then down through here. Or we can go up to P and then down to M and down here. That's three steps. We're going to do this one using R to M. And the hint is the fact it's in the question. It says finding this first. Okay. So let's break it down. I'm going to show you the solution and then I'll talk you through um, what we have. So what it says here is we need to find O to N. Finding O to N. O to N, they're going to go O to R, R to N. Now O to R is simply, that's three A's, so that's here. R to, M is an ex R to N is an extension of R to M. So it's our vector Rm multiplied by a constant multiplied by a value that extends our line, okay? Um, and we're going to call that lambda. That symbol there, Greek letter, lambda, we're using it as a multiplier, okay? So I can write this as a statement being true. This is my distance here. It's these three plus this, this bit multiplied by a, um, a constant. And I can rearrange by by putting together my A terms and my B terms. Okay, my A, my multiples of, of vector A and my multiples of vector B. So I get this statement here. Now, if we look at the graph, we know that actually we can go straight from O to N by just doing some fraction of vector B. So I'm not gonna have, I don't have to have A. So I know that this part here is equal to zero. I can say, let's pretend that is equal to zero, and then I can just find out two-thirds multiplied by some number, lambda, multiplied by b, will tell me how much along this line I need to go. It's a strange concept. Just go through that again. I can look at this vector and say I can go from here to here. I just want to end up with a multiple of b with nothing added. So I don't want, I don't have to have anything to do with a. So that would mean for this to be true, I could just say, well, let's have this equal to zero. Let's have this bracket equal to zero. I'd have no a's, and then I'd be able to work out my um, vector for, um, or my multiplier for b. So looking at the mark scheme again, we call that equating the coefficient of a to zero. So I put this is equal to zero. If I put this equal to zero, lambda will be equal to nine eighths. Okay, if this is equal to zero, um, solve for the equation. Uh, take 9 from both sides, multiply by um, 8 over 3, we end up with uh, 9 eighths. Do I now know what lambda is? So I can use that now over here. So I know that O to N is going to be 9 eighths, which is my lambda, multiplied by 2 thirds of B. Now 2 thirds of B times 9 eighths comes to 3 quarters of B. So I know that this point is three quarters of the way along my line. So my ratio of here to here, O to N to N to P, uh, N to Q rather, is three to one. That is three quarters of the way there. Just in case you're not quite sh convinced, just go back and have a look at, if we say lambda is nine eighths, what does that mean? Lambda is the thing multiplying the length of our line RM. So this line here, we are, we've extended it by nine eighths. So it's one extra eighth along. It's slightly longer than what it was. That kind of should make sense. It's a really difficult question. Whether that would come up in the exam, I'm not entirely sure. Even if you can't complete the whole thing, you should be confident enough to be able to create this. And maybe even possibly create this piece as well. We will cover this again in class, I think, um, just to clear up any misconceptions. Um, but hopefully that helps.